Welcome back to Cousin John Car Stuff. I've been asked, John, how did the channel start? How did you get the name Cousin John Car Stuff? First off, I'll tell you, you won't see cars being rebuilt. You won't be seeing major engine or transmission or body work done on this channel. It's far beyond what I know. I know some of the basics, but not the deep dive stuff that you see on other channels. So, my Uncle Ford and Aunt Bernice and my two cousins would come in from Omaha to Chicago where I grew up and they'd come out for Thanksgiving each year. The first time when I was real, real little, and I'm the youngest of three so my two cousins and my two brothers would hang out together, I was odd man out, and Dad and Uncle Ford and I, because I was asked, you want to go to the car auction with me? And I'm, gee, that's kind of different, okay. And so we went out there. Uncle Ford consigned the car he drove out for sale. And then we'd stop on the way back, get something to eat. And again, it was real little. I didn't understand what was going on. Uncle Ford, you can't get back home. You're selling the car you brought. You brought. How do you get back home? And it might have been before this, he would say, Cousin John, tomorrow day after Thanksgiving, we're going to the auction. I'm buying some cars, drive, driving those cars back to Omaha to the car lot. And the folks here know the cars I bring or the car I bring. And it goes for good money because they know. It made a 500 mile trip with no issues. And then when I get home, I'll sell the cars at the lot that I bought here. And he, he referred to it as carrying the mail for numerous years. This was back in the late 60s, early 70s to give you a time reference when the letter carrier would have the shoulder bag or push the three-wheel cart to each individual address. And he said, something else, Cousin John, this was some time later. And I said, so you get paid for the time you miss from carrying the mail? And he's, no, I don't. That's time off unpaid. But I make more off the cars I take back to Omaha than I make carrying the mail for those days. Rather interesting. And so, each year he'd tell me something. We'd sit and talk about the car business. He got me started with understanding cars in the car business. And over the years I just expanded my knowledge. Went to Northwood to learn the car business. I was thinking of getting into the car business at that time. But then there was something in the economy that it was the time that uh, Chrysler was about to go under and Chrysler was bailed out, paid off the loan, whatever period of time that was. And I thought, good thing I didn't get involved with the car business. But I've been around enough car deals. No loyalty to any, any manufacturer, dealer, or brand. I've always been on the consumer side of the transaction. But I've been involved in, in enough of the transactions. I know both sides of the desk. And there are some dealers that just don't like me when I walk in. But they'll sell the car because if they don't sell it, somebody else gets the money. Now I am respectful. I understand it's their profession. And I don't walk in demanding or anything else. It's just knowing the language and how to speak, which over decades I've learned. So what the channel content is after the name. I'd see videos on YouTube where I'd like to put in a thought about the video, and it would take up a wall of text. Well, that won't work. I'll start a YouTube channel. 
But what to name it? Then it occurred to me, Uncle Ford. An Uncle Ford tribute channel, if you will. He called me Unc Cousin John. So, and it's a assortment of car topics, be it cool cars. There's a 77 minute Riviera that's on the channel, a 78 old to 98 super low miles, a 78 Lincoln Mark V. And car experiences I've had, thoughts on different car topics. I did shoot a few about uh, my Sonata Hybrid with a few things, issues, etc. So it's just a vast assortment of car topics and subjects. It's not one specific. So that's how the channel was born, how it was named, and I'd appreciate if you'd like, share, subscribe, help the channel grow, because only you can help us grow. And now we should be back to Wednesday and Saturday content with maybe, maybe an occasional bonus video during the week. We'll see how that works out. But now that family and life issues, the dust has settled some, we should be back to our regular schedule. Thanks for your patience. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. And take care until next time.